Good evening. So here we are in the Bungle Bungles. And this is our campsite. Well, darly, well, darly. Um, we got here about an hour ago and the sun is going down over there. And we're part by the dry river bed. And it's very peaceful, apart from the birds. The birds are very noisy here, but it's very nice to be here. So, um, it's getting dark now, so we're not doing anything until tomorrow, and then we'll start the uh, walks around the Bungle Bungles. So get in here. It's fine on the highway, and then you turn off, and it's about 56 kilometres till you actually get to the visitor centre and the campsites. And it's about an hour and 40 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to put some footage up, if I can. Now, I'm warning you in advance. I... I was driving and I put my point of view camera up on the uh, mirror, mirror that we don't use because we can't see out of it anyway. So I, I was hanging it off there. So it will be rocking a lot and at one point on the river crossing it actually jumped so much it fell off. So excuse me if it's all a bit jumpy and swinging around but that is what this road was like. It was so much fun, so much fun to drive. I'll put some footage here and then I'll be back in the morning to show you the bungle bungles. walk around our campsite. Lovely here. Yeah. What's the time, please? Six? Uh, quarter past six. Quarter past six. Oh, welcome to the ancient ground. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Got woken up about half four from all these white parrots. Oh my days, they make a racket. Anyway. Let's go for a walk, quarter past six, 24 degrees, feels hot, so but it's just nice to walk. <laughs> we can go at a pace where we're not absolutely sweltering. Right, this is the, the riverbed. All dry at the moment. Right, so this is well, well, our dewaters walk. 
is basically a dried up creek bed. But we get to this part here and there's a this bank to walk across and there's a snake down there. Come on, bring them off. Don't know what sort of snake it is. No, I don't know. Oh, now look, he's angry at you. Look. <laughs> he's looking right at... Why is he looking at me? I didn't throw the stick. Should we go up that way? In the grass with all the other snakes. I'm not going in the blooming grass. Well, I don't think we've got much choice, though. I ain't going to swim next to a snake. No, I'm not right, falling in that bank. You can walk along the bank, but if you slip, you might get... No, it. it's not worth it. So that was well, Dali Waters walk, and we got as far as that bank, which was really slippy, and we that, saw that snake. Now, we don't know what type of snake it was. We tried to scare it off, but it wasn't going anywhere. So we turned around and we didn't finish the walk. We don't know what sort of snake it is. It's not worth the risk. And that to bank fair, was... To be fair, the walk didn't look that much, so because it's still early, drive to the bigger walks because it's already 31 degrees at 10 to 7 in the morning. Yeah, did you hear that? So we, did, we turned back one because the snake but also because it's already 31 degrees at 7 o'clock in the morning. So we thought well let's go and get the bunga bunga walks done. It's early. Um, that one was just like walking, I mean it was pretty walking around the creek but why wear ourselves out when we're going to wear ourselves out in a oh, minute on this heat? Uh, yeah. Back towards a visit or something. Yeah, and then it was just a turning off. Look, stuck behind the buses. <laughs> Keep getting stuck behind the buses on this road. Anyway, we're going to the Bungle Bungles. Been on my bucket this for years. <coughs> Let's go see what's all about. Oh, what's elephant rock? Oh, look, it looks like an elephant. Oh, go, go back so we get picture. Oh my God, we just we just went past. Elephant rock. I'm like, what is it? And then <laughs> you can see it looks like an elephant. I'm just reversing back to have a proper look. Look! It looks like a couple of elephants. Oh, I don't know if you can see this light. Let me try and zoom in a bit. Oh! That is so cool. My, look at the bungle bungles. Now that's how you imagined it. Just look at those. Oh, magical. We are now driving through the bungle bungles. And we've arrived at our first stop. We're going to do the walk. Yeah. First people. Oh, there's quite a few people here already. So here we are. Oh, God, I can't pronounce anything. Piccaninny, Piccaninny. Anyway, here we are on our first walk. 
and you're basically walking along the creek bed. Now you can do up to a 10k walk right along the creek bed until you get to the end. They've got nets on, makes me think there's flies up here. Hello! <laughs> Oh, didn't notice that one over there. Look, looks like a snowman. So, sorry, you can do up to 10k walk and there's several lookouts, but we're going to do just under 3k to the creek lookout and then come back and do the Cathedral Gorge because we cannot miss the Cathedral Gorge. And then we're going to do the Domes Trail Loop. The t up to 10k. It's a snake trail one, and it's an awful long walk in this heat. And for me, it's been the domes and Cathedral Gorge for absolutely sure. If that was 10k, I'd probably do it. But I like walking. It doesn't bother me walking, but the heat really, really is tough. But anyway, you don't want to see me, you want to see the dome. My gosh, they are as beautiful as, actually no, I think they're more beautiful than I imagined. I've wanted to come here since I saw a picture of them, gosh, years and years ago, and I thought, oh, where is that? I always thought they were smooth. I don't know why, I think in the pictures they make them look smooth, but they're not. But they're just the colours. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, we're just making our way up to the lookout. Oh, that breeze is nice. Oh. So we made it to the lookout. But this is the real view. I think this is the bed we walked in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is where we walked. All the way down out there. And that is the bungle bungalow. Beautiful. Okay. Right, we're walking into Cathedral Gorge. Oh, I can see shade ahead, Blue. Mm. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, I'll take my hat off for a minute. Gosh, it's so hot. What did it say? Blue could get to 50 degrees down here in the creek. Oh, God. Look at those holes. I've made it to Cathedral Gorge. It is absolutely beautiful. Is 
very peaceful in here. And there's quite a lot of people in here, so I can't do my Bohemian Rhapsody. I think, oh, <laughs> I want to see if it echoes. But uh, there's too many people here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's very, very cool here. That fancy is similar, it's a bit stagnant. But it's cool in two ways. Very beautiful to look at, and it's in the shade. So, spend a little time here, just getting our breath back. Uh, we're now walking towards the dome walk. Sorry? Oh, it's everyone's walking on sand. Oh, I can't walk on this sand. Oh, I thought we would be walking through domes. Otherwise we'll say, oh, why do we just walk down there? Oh, it's nice and cool in here. Is that water in there? No, maybe a puddle, but not that much, isn't it? Yeah. So this is oh, the yeah, downpark. Because there's no flies. Oh, is, that, is that a puddle? Yeah, it's a puddle. I think so. Yeah, it is. A tiny little puddle. Well, you can tell it wasn't at some point. No, oh, well, it would have all been full, wouldn't well, it? Yeah, all the way out. Well, we're walking in the stream, so I'm guessing. Anyway, so that's the dome rock. towards Akida Chasm. Oh. It does warn you that the walk is exposed and it's hot. Uh, I've got my Factor 50 on all over and I've got my hat. I haven't brought my big camera with me just my water and this action camera but he's deciding not to do it and you can't judge because it is hot so I would have done this later today or tomorrow morning but we've decided because it's still quite early and we don't really like the second campground here. But as this is the last one I wanted to do, that's a 2k return. That's about an hour. That's a thing in Pasco. Must be this way. Oh, you could get lost here. Sorry, so we decided that we're going to start making our way to Kananara. Rather than sit at this campsite all day, like I say, we don't really like it. One last night was very pleasant. I think not this one is. And it's best to just move forward. Oh god, if it's like these rocks all the way there. 
coming on, oh, no wonder it takes long. It is incredibly hot inside. There's always things rustling about. Oh great, there's more peppers coming up. Oh wow. This is quite pretty petty, isn't it? So this is the chasm. Oh my gosh. Right, hang on. Let me get down there. Oh gosh, it's huge. And here we are at the end. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this before. Thank you, Sophie. Right, I'll have a little rest and I'll make my way back. the sound I made the effort to come and do this. It's... Yes, it's incredibly hot, but it's also incredibly beautiful. And if I hadn't have made the effort to come and see this one, I would have regretted it. You know, when you come somewhere, there's certain things you want to see. And now I've seen the ones, things I really wanted to see here at the Bungle Bungle. Oh, so. We saw the domes, aren't they spectacular? Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to watch my step while I'm talking. I mean, they're just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And the cathedral, the lookout, the dome walk, and then this. I, mean, I don't think this is this is part of the national park, but it's not really the bungle bungle beehive rocks that you expect to see. That was more this morning, but this was still very beautiful. Now, the bungle bungles didn't. Look how I thought they would look. I thought, I don't know why. I always, I think as I said, I always thought they were like smooth. Well, obviously they're not. But the colours of them, with the stripes going through them. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And 
Like I said, I always wanted to come. I saw a picture of them, gosh, probably, probably 10 years ago, maybe even longer. Yeah, and I saw it and I thought, oh my goodness, what is that? I thought, oh, it's in Western Australia. And then it's been on my list to do ever since. And I've done it. I'm very happy. Well, have I been able to achieve that? So, let's enjoy the walk back. Took me about 23 minutes to get here. So, I did all right there. Oh, I think, I think I must have walked around here. I stopped to take a picture and I lost the people in front of me that I was following. I'm pretty sure. Well, now I'm not pretty sure that I went that way. I don't remember climbing through two palm trees, but anyhow, it all comes the same way. Oh, big drop. Ooh. Oh, I need to my pebbles at her. Well, hard to walk on. Okay, I'll get myself back. And that will be it for the Bungle Bungles. I'll do some filming on the way out. In case the footage of my rally driving down here was too shaky. But it'll be driving out. Which means it'll take longer. Um... I'll see if I can get some footage of us leaving. So it's goodbye from the Bungle Bungles. And we're going to drive up to Kananara. And I'll catch up with you when we get there. Ciao for now.